الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد. Over the years we've witnessed how many people, mashallah tabarak Allah, have entered the fold of Islam. And for those people who have become Muslim, <coughs> may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept that from you and bless you, bless you with sincerity and bless you with firmness upon the sunnah or the way and tradition of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May peace and blessings be upon him. But I wanted to address something very quickly, the point of why people, or why some people leave Islam. Because over the years, why we've witnessed many people who become Muslim, we've also seen in some of our communities, many people, we've seen a, revol- uh, a revolving door. Those people who revert or convert to Islam, uh, we've seen a large percentage of those people, for various reasons, leave Islam. And one of the, I've tried to pinpoint, and I will try to be very brief, of why some of the reasons that I personally witnessed in my community in Seattle, Washington. And some of the things that I've seen for being some of the reasons why people leave Islam. First, most, I can say this truly and honestly from, uh, I can think of at least 10 to 15 people that I know personally who have left Islam and I can say honestly that all of them had no proper understanding of Tawheed, of the monotheism of who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is. Because once you become a Muslim and you understand that there is truly no God worthy of worship and that uh, all other gods are false, then there's no way or it is almost impossible for you to leave that belief even if you fall into sin. Even if you fall into major sin and you become have a hard heart, you still hold on to the fact that you know that no other religious system offers the purity of Islam, of Islamic monotheism. Meaning that all that Allah has divine names and attributes. That the Lordship is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. That He is the creator and the sustainer of the heavens and earth. And that that necessitates worshipping Him and Him alone. That we supplicate to Him We pray to Him, we fast for Him, we make the pilgrimage for Him. All of these things are act of worship. When we smile, when we smile, it becomes an act of worship. And we do that for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So when you know sincerity and sincere tawheed, then then it makes it next to impossible for you to leave that to go to a a polytheistic belief. So this is the first reason, is a weak understanding of tawheed. And I've seen this countless times. Uh, another important thing to be aware of is ignorance and a lack of knowledge. Because most of the people that I, I, I've seen, or all of them, 100% that have left Islam, were ignorant of Islam, in fact. Regardless of whether they stayed Muslim for 5, 10 years, they traveled to this country and that country, to a Muslim country here. But because of their lack of ignorance, because they weren't firmly grounded on monotheism, and they also had a general weak n- lack of knowledge, they dabbled in this sect, that one day they're Sufi, the next day they're Tekfiri Jihadi, the next day, the, the third day they're Ikhwan Muslimin, the fourth day they decide to be Sufi again, the fifth day they, they're uh, Ash'ari. So they, they travel from sect to sect without knowing and understanding the Sunnah of the Prophet wasallam, and that it's a steep path and that it requires firmness. And we ask Allah for Ikhlas wa Thabat ala Sunnah. So ignorance is another thing which causes people to leave Islam. And the Prophet ﷺ said in this regard, مَنْ يُرِدُ اللَّهُ بِهِ خَيْرًا يَفَقَهُ فِي الدِّينَ Whenever Allah wants good for a person, He gives them understanding of the religion. So you can see that those people who left Islam due to their ignorance, that Allah didn't want good for them. And we ask that Allah guides them back to the truth. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. The fourth uh, point of why some people leave Islam is that they mix with the people who detest Islam and the people of polytheism and those people who cause doubt in their hearts. So, for example, if you're a new Muslim, and you sit around people who are non-Muslim, who do not like Islam, we're talking about those people who speak ill about Islam, who make it a point uh, to uh, speak ill of the Prophet Muhammad wasallam. They even will go as far as to speak about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and say Allah is an idol, or say Allah is this or Allah is that. Uh, they belittle Islam and they belittle the rules and legislation of Islam if you sit in those gatherings of course it's going to uh, pull you away from the truth 
and the people of the truth. So you have to have good company, and this is another thing which is in conjunction or is in uh, verified and authenticated by the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, who said that a person is upon the religion of their friend, you know, of their companions. So take good companions. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has many hadith, and you can find them in Sahih Muslim, in Sahih Bukhari, and Riyadh Salihin in the collections of hadith narrations about the importance of good suhbah, good uh, uh, companionship. The fourth reason and final reason that I want to speak about is that some people who are new Muslim is that they stay around sinfulness and sinful environments. That's another thing that hardens the heart and will take you away from Islam. So if you combine all of those attributes that you have a weak understanding of of monotheism, that you are ignorant in general about your religion, and that you mix with people who dislike Islam and put doubts into your hearts, and you involve yourself in sinful environments, of course you're going to, more than likely, leave Islam. Why? Because you are not grounded in Islam in the first place, and all of things, those things drain upon you. They drain your iman as if your iman was, your iman could be full, like as if it was uh, a full glass of water. But then someone put a crack in it, and of course the water is going to drain out at no matter what rate it, it's leaving, it's going to leave, eventually all of it. And this is the example of the person who sits in ill environments or who invol- involves themselves with sinfulness. So the person who becomes a Muslim, but yet they're still in the nightclub, and they're with the people of nightclub. They're sm- still smoking weed. They're still drinking alcohol. They're still uh, committing adultery and fornication. Well, of course, that this, these things harden the heart, so much so that a person will begin to think those things are lawful. This causes a hard hurt. Heart, as uh, Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah he said in a beautiful statement he said al-ma'asi baridu kufr he said that sinfulness is the means to disbelief why is that? because when a person involves himself in sinfulness their heart becomes hard as the Prophet Muhammad said that their hearts uh, that when a person does a sin, a sin that a, a little black dot comes on their heart and when they increase in their sin their heart becomes darker and darker. It becomes covered with those black spots until it's completely covered and hard. And when they do something righteousness, it causes a light on that. It removes those spots when they do righteousness and good deeds. So sinfulness is something that hardens the heart. And the Prophet ﷺ also warned us about guarding our hearts. He said in an authentic hadith, at the end of the hadith, he said, Allah wa al qalb. When he was, he said, he said, there's a, a morsel of flesh in the body. He said that in this morsel of flesh, that if this morsel of flesh is, is sound and, and healthy, then the whole body will be healthy. And if this morsel of flesh is sick or you know, filled with sin and wickedness, then the whole body will become wickedness and weak and frail and then he said verily it is the heart so that shows us the importance of the heart and having a good surrounding and these are things in order to help a person stay upon Islam and I ask Allah the Almighty to protect us and bless us with a class with thabat ala kitabillah wa sunnatul rasul sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabi